Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm gonna show you how to make an apple crumb pie. So come on in and let's get started. In a skillet, I'm gonna add four tablespoons of unsalted butter and let that melt down. While that's melting down, I'm gonna peel and slice six Granny Smith apples. Once my butter's melted, I'm gonna go ahead and add those apples into my skillet. To the skillet full of apples and butter, I'm gonna add in one quarter cup of light brown sugar, one third cup of white granulated sugar. I'm also gonna add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of cream of tartar. If you don't have cream of tartar, you can use a tablespoon of lemon juice. And I'm also gonna add a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and then also 1 8 teaspoon of salt. Once all your seasonings for your apple pie filling are in your skillet, go ahead and cook the apples, stirring to coat each apple slice. Cook these until they're soft, but not mushy, where they still have a good bite to them. Now that your apples are done cooking, you want to turn the burner off and remove the pan from the heat. While your apples are set to the side and cooling, grab a pie pan and grease the bottom of it with some nonstick cooking spray. You can either line the bottom with a refrigerated pie crust like I'm doing, or you can make your own and line it that way. Once your pie plate is lined with your pie crust, go ahead and pour in your cooked apples. You'll see that the sugar has melted and everything is coating each apple perfectly. Now that you've got your pie plate lined with your pie crust and filled with your apple filling, it's time to go ahead and start making the crumb topping. We're gonna start out by combining one cup of all-purpose flour, one third cup of packed light brown sugar, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and then one quarter teaspoon of salt. You wanna grab a, a spatula, a whisk, whatever you have on hand, and go ahead and combine that really well. And then you're gonna add in one stick of unsalted softened butter at room temperature. You can get in there with your hands and mix it up or I ended up using a fork, but do it until you get a pea size crumbly consistency and just pour that all over the top of your pie. Completely cover the top of your pie with the crumb topping, throw it in a 400 degree oven to bake for 30 minutes and then turn the heat down to 350 to bake an additional 70 minutes. I hope you guys enjoy this. Remember you are welcome back anytime and to stay up to date, remember to subscribe to my channel.